Today we're going to talk about launching your boat and tandem canoeing. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back. In this segment, we're going to talk about launching the boat. As you can see, we've already got our boat in the water, but I want to show you one thing that you want to be careful about when you've got your boat ready to launch and you want to get in. It's called bridging. The strength of the canoe comes from the bottom of the boat being flat on the water. So as I pull this boat out and pull it up on the shore a little bit, you can see some air between the bottom of the boat and the water. Now, if I were to step onto that, it's, that's the weak point of the boat. So in order to preserve the, the uh, strength of the boat, we want to make sure that we're not bridging from the shore to the water. So we're going to go ahead and place it in the water. I love this T-handle paddle because I can put it out there, grab and pull. Now you can see we're flat on the water. The next thing I want you to remember is you always want three points on the boat. That would mean one foot or two hands, two feet and a hand, just to make sure that you're stable at all times. The other thing that you want to do is step directly to the center of the boat so that if, if this boat were to have a keel, like our aluminum boat, uh, you want to step right on the keel. That's your mark. So I'm going to step off of this rock. You want to go directly to the center, two feet, or two hands and a foot, push off, and now I'm back into my paddling position. So that's an easy way to make sure that you're launching your canoe correctly. We want to talk a little bit about the positioning of the solo canoeist in the boat. As you can see, the canoe that I'm in is tilting a little bit because I have my knee in the bilge. That gives me better access to the side that I'm paddling on makes it more comfortable so you don't have to necessarily think that your canoe has to be flat on the water. That will change when you're going tandem. All right, here we are. I'm in cruising position. You can see that my left leg is forward and my right leg is tucked behind me. That's a little bit more comfort for those long trips. Okay, now I'm going to bring on a partner. So she's going to observe the same rules of three, two hands and a foot two feet and one hand, make sure she's in the center sitting position. And then as we're, we're going to paddle tandem, uh, I'm gonna paddle on one side, she's gonna paddle on the other side, and I'm gonna call the strokes, and she's gonna set the pace. So let's back out, reverse, very nice. Back, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and go forward, all forward. So you wanna synchronize your strokes together. No splashing because that's very offensive if you're on a date. Okay, good. So remember, when you're, when you're working together, it's all about communication and teamwork. The sternman, my position, is the one that gives the directions and the bowman is the one that sets the pace. Nice. Okay, all back. Sweet. Very nice. We're coming into the shore, and so the proper way to get out is just the reverse of getting in. Make sure that you still have three points on the canoe. And as our bowman is uh, going to get out, I'm going to stabilize the canoe. She's going to step from center line to the shore and out. Very nice and I'm off for a ride. <laughs> 